there is a wide range of literature in English. We all know that English literature has been a global language around the world. Some say it's called the universal language. So let's go back to the time where it all began. Let me introduce to you the origin of English literature. The founder of English literature was Jeffrey Joss. He was born in circa 1340. He is most famous for writing his unfinished work. He passed away on October 25, 1499, and was the first to be buried in the famed Westminster Abbey's Poets Corner. Now, as we move on, let's talk about the different time of English literature on how it is started until the day we have now. So, the following are the different periods of English literature. First, Old English. Anglo-Saxon period. Second, Middle English period. Third, the Renaissance period. Fourth, the Neoclassical period. Fifth, the Romantic period. Sixth, the Victorian Age period. Seventh, the Edwardian period. Eighth, the Georgian period. Ninth, the Modern period. Tenth, the Postmodern period. Period. These are some of the periods which give us the change to what we are now. So why is it important, especially due to the changes on the literature in different time periods? So as we talk about why English literature is important to us because the lessons and messages pass on in that English literature class include critical thinking, analytical skills, and creative expertise. The literature also shows on helping us explore and analyze some of the life related questions and assist young people in gaining the skills required for a deeper understanding in life. So the fact that the literature is one of the most important and detailed forms of cultural expressions and documentations, along with the music and visual arts, it is how we know what a culture was like. Without written literature, we wouldn't have much of cultural or historic understanding of what came before us. The English or American countries' literature shapes the world in a place where studying English literature opens up a world of inspiration and creativity, while also developing skills that are essential for today's global environment. It is a chance to discover how literature makes sense of the world through stories, poems, novels, and plays. It is also a chance to sharpen your own ability to write, read, analyze, and perceive. In Philippine history, there are five periods of Philippine literature. First, pre-colonial period. It is based on oral traditions like folk speeches, including riddles, sangrikain, and many more. Second, Spanish colonization it has two categories on rules and poetries, religious and secular. Third, the American colonial view, where Filipinos imitated the styles of American and literature shows now for the country. Fourth, the Japan colonial period, the dark period of Philippines literature, where poetry categorized into the haiku and tanaka. And last, literature in the contemporary period. The recovering era where Philippines is no longer colonized. Let me share one of the best and important literary pieces in the Philippines. It is the Noli Mitangere by Dr. Jose Rizal. Jose Costasio Rizal Mercado y Alonso Rialonda, or Dr. Jose Rizal, is considered the national hero of the Philippines. He wrote the novel Noli Mitangere that teaches every Filipino to fight what is right and to love the country. As Filipino, it can be said that our literature is useful because it shows in our history that no matter how many countries colonize us, we have surpassed it and will be part of the literature of the Filipinos for life. It can be seen that the Filipinos have the talent to produce literature such as haiku or tanaka poems, whether secular or religious. The importance of having literature in our country is that we can be recognized by the world, have communication, and Philippine literature does not only focus on written words to show craftsmanship, but it aims to love the country and even the world. 
Defeating a 23 nature has a lot of information that we have to take in mind, depending on their history, background, and other stuff. The Philippines is unique for having important points in many languages, adding a distinct voice to them. That was unique to our archipelago. The most politically important body of Philippine literature is that which was significant in Spanish. Despite that our literature mostly comes from a time period of where religion and beliefs were the main focus at that time. This is where English literature differs from Philippine literature because it shows how it changes throughout different time periods, starting from the old till the modern English that we have now. First, English literature tells us about the history of the English-speaking world. In other words, through this literature, you are able to learn about ourselves and our history. Second, English literature also teaches us many lessons that have universal things, such as love, war, desire, justice, and many more. For this reason, they differ because of their background and place where they came from. Not all of us experience the same thing throughout different time periods. We have different changes from different places that make us unique in our way. As the time goes by, our history changes depending on what we do or what we create in our country. That serves to bring our own literature. There are many things that we adapt since the beginning until today. A lot of us have discovered something that gave the biggest change to our literature throughout the time. As for the current status of our literature, we now live in 21st century. We still have our literature in today's period, but as the times goes by, we are slowly adapting the English literature as it is slowly becomes closer to our country. And most of the time, many people now use English as language in our country, and we are learning more and more into English and of today. While the English is still English literature, it just becomes more modern as the time goes by. The literature is just evolving to something new, while ours is slowly turning. Theirs. As for the writers, we currently have a new writers in the 21st century compared to the old ages where many people are eager to write something about anything that gave the most impact throughout the history. Lastly, considering the age that we live in right now, where we live in a 21st modernization, it is rather expected that the youth will be the driving force of changes. Their doings will be the prime mover of the future of our country's literature. As for the day, many of the new generations do their own literature. But are learning from other stages. It's one of the challenges that is happening currently as it leads a lack of knowledge and education in this country's literature. Thus, low language proficiency levels, lack of reading and speaking skills, low motivation, lack of self confidence, lack of prior literature knowledge, lack of students' awareness of the importance of learning literature.